another thing that, that we're looking at and the Auditor uh, General in Scotland has also looked at is uh, the full amount of COVID support passed from the UK Government to the Scottish Government being sent, spent uh, for COVID support in Scotland. Are you concerned that the Auditor General in Scotland has been unable to um, qualify the entire amount of money that's gone from the UK Government to the Scottish Government and to see if it was fully spent on COVID-related issues? I think the figure is £1.6 billion. Yes. He's been unable He's to been unable. attribute to that. So, yes, of course. I mean, you know, that's why I say it. it's the most extraordinary concept of devolution that, that when, 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 um, that you wouldn't get in the general German federal system or the U.S. federal system. You know, when Washington sends money to individual states, they want an audit of it. They want to know where it was spent. Actually, it's extraordinary in, in the U.K. that we are that, that it's a completely uh, a devolved scenario. Money uh, under Barnett consequentials under block grant goes from London to Edinburgh with no strings attached. And, I mean, what, what is the UK government's response to that Auditor General report? I mean, do, do you then follow that up? Do you, do you look at this further? Now, I understand decisions had to be taken very quickly, and yep. you're right to, to get money out to support as many people yes. as possible. It was the, the right approach for the UK government to take. But there are businesses and individuals in Scotland who still feel they should have received some of that funding yep. and are very upset to find that the Scottish Auditor General is unable to account for all that money. Yes. And this is a question which is now being asked repeatedly in, in the chamber that I, in which I reside. I think it's slightly different. I don't want to go there um, yeah. because I think that's more generally on spending. Yeah. But, yeah. but particularly for, for COVID spending, if I can maybe ask for an example, I think we've both met a Scotland Learning Partnership. Yes. They have raised serious concerns yes. that they were promised by yes. John Swinney, by Richard Lockhead, yes. by other ministers that they were going to get money yeah. that had been given by the UK government to the Scottish government and they did not and still have not received that funding. Yes. Uh, is that your recollection of your meetings? Absolutely. I met them. In fact, nicely coming to Wendy Chamberlain's question about the economically inactive, I mean, they are front and centre in this battle to, uh, to get to help our most vulnerable back into work who want to work. Yeah? And it's all to do with adult learning, it's all to do with retraining. And that's where we need to put a lot of focus. And we'd both agree that you know, the best form of welfare one can ever have is a good job. And there's people in that adult community who want to get a good job and need help to get there. And that particular uh, 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 community, that particular group, I, I was so impressed when I met them that that's what their life's work is, and yet they're starved of funding. Mm -hmm. But funding that they believe they, be they believe were promised, and indeed, yeah. uh, I think they've shown us correspondence, or certainly me correspondence, which I'm quite happy to share with the, the committee, uh, that they had been given assurances from several Scottish government ministers they would receive that COVID funding, and they still haven't. And then that does beg the question: Well, is that part of the 1.6 billion pounds uh, that the Auditor General cannot uh, account? For? And this is where I would expect the COVID, this the Scotland COVID inquiry, to, to 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 make full inquiry. It would also be an opportunity for the Deputy First Minister of Scotland to answer these questions if, if she attended this committee. I will recommend her this committee to her. Uh, well, I see hopefully her that will work, but other efforts uh, have not. Um, the chair